Okay, it is that time and we are moving into informative speeches. Now, how many of you have heard of Murphy's Law? Um, if you haven't, here's what Murphy's Law is, that everything that can go wrong will go wrong. And usually it will go wrong when you need it most. So uh, our technology in three years that we've used Kaltura has worked pretty seamlessly. But for the last month, it's not worked. And I don't see it working anytime soon. So you can create a video on Kaltura, you can't embed it. And there's no way that I can view it. So we are going to our trusty uh, backup, the place that a lot of people call um, their greatest learning platform, and that is none other than YouTube. So YouTube is our backup. I'm gonna post a video of how to post your video on YouTube, but if you download the app on your smartphone, you can upload it in seconds. So for your informative speech, you're gonna record it on your phone or your laptop, and then you're gonna post it to YouTube and you're gonna post the link on discussion board so that your teammates can watch it so that I can grade it and give you feedback. Now, if you don't know how to watch, um, to upload something to YouTube, I'll post a link on how to do that. But if you ask anyone between the ages of 12 and 20, I promise you they'll probably know. Chances are they have a YouTube channel. So we're gonna go with that this time around. If you are nervous about that, and I understand that, um, you can, I need you to make it public but then as soon as I'm done grading, you can delete it, take it down, make it private, whatever you need to do. The other thing I want to make sure that you remember is, see this, you want a clean background, um, if at all possible. You don't want your dogs barking, uh, I have kids about to get off the bus, you don't want them running in. You need a good audience who will listen to you. You need very few distractions. So don't pull people into a bathroom to record. You don't want to sit on your um, bed. This isn't a movie or a vlog. We want you to be as professional as possible. So the beauty of online classes is flexibility. But when it comes to presenting, to put a little bit extra in it. So you can do it when you want, but you need to make sure you add a little bit of professionalism. And in your lifetime, you're going to Skype interview. You'll probably present from home for a training. So this is great practice. So we want to see your gestures. We want to see you look left and center and right when you're doing your thesis statement. We want to see that you dressed for success. Um, and we want to see that you eliminated as much noise as possible. So I cannot stress this enough, but from smoke detectors beeping to dogs barking um, to kids complaining or neighbors yelling or lawn mowers mowing, make sure you eliminate noise, pick a good time where we have good lighting and good sound and you can present with confidence. I'm so excited to hear these speeches. Remember, they are due Wednesday and then you're going to just find your team's speeches in the main discussion board, not team discussion board, in the main discussion board. People are gonna post their YouTube links, find your teammates, fill out that feedback form, give them constructive feedback, and I will jump on there as well. So keep up the good work, everybody. I'm sorry we had to sort of uh, come up with a plan B, but this is gonna work. I did it for years, we can do it again, um, and I look forward to seeing your speeches. Have a great weekend.